With the success of WandaVision, Falcon and Winter Soldier will be next on Disney Plus this March 19. And in the trailer, aside from Baron Zemo, Marvel Studio confirmed that the terrorist group called the Flag Smashers will be appearing in the series too. So for today, we will tackle on the origin of the Flag Smasher in the comics. Hey what's up guys and welcome to MJ Comics TV. The villain Flag Smasher first appeared in Captain America issue 312 in December of 1985, created by writer Mark Gruenwald and artist Paul Neary. Mark Gruenwald created the Flag Smasher as a character in the tradition of the Red Skull, which is a villain with a symbolic aspect that would make him nemesis specifically for Captain America. Whereas the Red Skull symbolizes Nazism, Flag Smasher symbolizes anti-patriotism. There has been a couple of characters who don the mantle of the Flag Smasher, but today we will focus on the first Flag Smasher, Karl Morgenthal. In the issue 312, Flag Smasher attacked the UN and destroyed all the flags and left a survivor to tell the tale. Meanwhile, a letter was sent to Steve Rogers from the military with almost a million dollars which was his payback for his service. With this, Steve decided to spend most of his money to build a department dedicated for the citizens to be able to call for help should they need to, hence a public service hotline. The Flag Smasher then attacked the Acme Flag Company and set it ablaze. Meanwhile, Steve then announced that he will make a press conference within a couple of days. Carl Morgenthau, which is the Flag Smasher, then saw the announcement on TV. We then find out his backstory. We discover that Carl is the son of a wealthy Swiss banker turned diplomat and ambassador in Bern, Switzerland. His father dreamed of world peace. Being a son of an ambassador, they tend to move from different countries. Carl tried to learn different languages fluently, but he's still getting bullied. He can't understand the prejudice he encountered as there was only a slight difference in race and in culture. Through the years, Carl learned martial arts in Tokyo and was not bullied from then on. He wanted to follow his father's footsteps and become a diplomat until his father was trampled to death in a riot at a Latvian embassy. He became to believe that humanity needed to do away with the concept of countries and nationalism that made people feel superior to those of different nationalities. On the day of Cap's public announcement, before he can even finish his statements, Flag Smasher then immediately struck and shot the US flag with an incendiary bullets. As the Flag Smasher then proceeds to attacking the citizens, Cap threw his shield to destroy the propulsion unit of Flag Smasher's jet cycle. Flag Smasher grabbed Cap's shield and pointed his gun to the citizens as he addressed to them his goals to the world, which is to destroy all symbols in the world. The police eventually surrounded the place and Cap attacked the distracted Flag Smasher. The two fought for a couple of panels and the Flag Smasher even brought out his iconic mace. But Cap stopped him and knocked him out. End of the issue. Now let's talk about his powers and abilities. The Flag Smasher is an athletic man who is a gifted hand-to-hand -hand combatant with great proficiency in the martial art of Shotokan Karate Do. He is also a brilliant terrorist strategist and has fluency in English, French, German, Russian, Italian, Japanese, and Esperanto. He has many devices like flame throwing pistol, a tear gas gun, a spiked mace, a shield, jet propelled skis used for flight, teleportation devices, submarines, and rocket propelled hovercraft. Now in the MCU, they changed him to be a woman named Carly instead of Carl, which will be played by Erin May Kellyman, who is a British actress that appeared as Enfys Nest leader of the Rebel Cloud Riders in Solo, a Star Wars story. She will be leading the masked anarchist anti-patriotism group called the Flag Smashers in the upcoming series Falcon and the Winter Soldier. So that's it for today's episode. My name is MJ and I'll see you next time.